Yeah, we have a couple of meters. Muslims that became believers, but they have a problem. They cannot worship in a, in a house, they can't work, worship in a church. So what we do, we go to a mountain like this, let's say for instance, because there's persecution from the Palestinian Authority, because a Muslim that becomes a Christian is a traitor. So they have to be very careful, they, so they come up here for this reason. Yeah. You know, I'm a believer, and among the believers, it's very dangerous. So for security reasons, that's why we're here. Right now, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. So sometimes they come at 2, sometimes they come at 11, sometimes at 4 o'clock in the morning. They have to change days, and they have to change times in order for security, that everything will go, will go well. I'm here uh, uh, worshiping here not because I'm afraid, but I'm afraid that they may do harm to my family. 새벽 2시에 드려지는 예배. 이들이 이날 밤 이렇게 새벽에 깊은 산 속에 올라와 예배를 드리는 것은 이분이 팔레스타인 사람으로서 기독교 신앙을 가졌다는 이유로 3일 뒤에 팔레스타인 법정에 불려가 재판을 받기 때문이었습니다. His lawyer said he could have received two or three years in jail. So I was requesting that when you do his program that you cover his face. Or here, as we see, this is in our church. If we have a church, we take a look at the feeling of it. We don't have anything to do with it. We don't have to do it at the end. We don't have to do it. 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 אני מסתכל, אני פתחתי את הדלת, אני מסתכל מתחת לדלת, יש לי מכתב, 
אני לקחתי את המכתב, פתחתי, יש כדור קטן. מה כתוב במכתב? כתוב, אם אתה לא מתרחק מדויד אורטיז ומהנוצרים, הכדור הזה, הכדור היה ריק. הכדור הזה, הראינו את זה באוויר, פעם שני זה בלב שלך. אני זרקתי את המכתב מהיד שלי, נכנסתי לבית, כן. ישבתי על השולחן, אני אומר, אני לא רוצה דוד, לא רוצה נוצרים, לא רוצה, מוס... לא רוצה כלום מהחיים, רק אני רוצה לחיות. אני ישבתי על השולחן, אני לא יודע, נרדמתי, לא נרדמתי, זה חלום, זה לא חלום, אני לא יודע. אני פתחתי את הספר תנ"ך, פתחתי את זה, זה היה מזמור 23. אתה בוואדן ז'ל אל-מאוט, עסאי עוקאזי, אני קמתי ככה, אני אומר, אם הוא איתי, אם הוא איתי כל הזמן, בשביל מה, בשביל מה אני, אני אפחד ולא רוצה זה ולא רוצה זה? אם הוא רוצה שאני אמות, אני אמות. ואני, אני הולך עם אבא. אם הוא רוצה שאני אמות, אני אמות. אני אמשיך, אני אמשיך את הדרך שאני הולך. אני לא מפחד מאף אחד. אבא, בשם ישוע, Lord, in the name of Jesus, give him a big hug, Lord God. He needs your presence. He needs to know that you're there with him, Lord. He needs your power, Lord. בשם ישוע, in the name of Jesus. אמן, אמן.가자지구를 포함한 팔레스타인 자치지구에 살고 있는 250만 명의 팔레스타인 사람들. 그들은 과연 누구이며 같은 팔레스타인 사람들끼리 종교가 다르다는 이유만으로 왜 이토록 기독교인을 핍박하는 것일까? With Abraham, Ishmael and Isaac, we are cousins. We sell to each other, we are cousins. But we have been fighting since Abraham time. All our trouble, it's because of Sarah, did not listen to Abraham. or Abraham didn't listen to Sarah, or he listened to Sarah, and she told him, go and marry this Hagar. Then she gave us Ishmael. The Arabs come out of Ishmael. The Jews come out of Isaac. Abraham's tomb is located in the Hebron of Machbella. This is the tomb of Abraham's tomb. The tomb of Abraham's tomb is the tomb of Abraham's tomb. The tomb of Abraham's tomb is the tomb of Abraham's tomb. The tomb of Abraham's tomb is the tomb of Abraham's tomb. The tomb of Abraham's tomb. 아브라함이 두 민족의 같은 조상이기 때문입니다. 그러나 이스마엘이 아버지 아브라함으로부터 쫓겨난 이후부터 그 후손들은 주변 아랍 국가들을 떠돌며 생활했고 또 일부는 이삭의 후손인 유대인들과 함께 이스라엘 땅에서 살아왔습니다. 그러나 유대인들도 이 땅을 떠나야 할 상황이 생겼습니다. In 70 AD and in the year 130, the Romans destroyed Jerusalem. The Romans made the Jews leave the country by force. And they made a decree. No Jew was allowed to live in the Holy Land, in, in, especially in Jerusalem. And the penalty would be death. So the Jews left. Roma를 향해 대항했던 유대인들을 쫓아낸 로마인들은 이 땅을 더 이상 이스라엘이라 부르지 못하게 했고 유대인들이 가장 싫어했던 블레셋 민족의 이름을 따서 이 땅의 이름을 그때부터 팔레스타인이라고 부르게 된 것입니다. The people who stayed are the Palestinians, and we've been here for the last 2,000 years. 그렇게 또 다시 주인이 바뀌어 버린 팔레스타인 땅. 그러나 이 땅에 종교적 큰 변화가 불어왔습니다. Islam as a religion dates back about 1,300 years to the desert of Arabia, and then it spread up. It was a very fast-growing religion. It spread north, east, and west to encompass most of what today is called the Middle East. Quran에 의하면 이슬람 종교의 창시자인 모하메드가 현재 예루살렘의 황금 사원 바로 이 자리에서 하늘로 승천했다고 주장한 이후 예루살렘은 이슬람의 중요한 성지가 되었고 대부분의 팔레스타인 사람들은 자연스럽게 이슬람 종교를 믿게 되었습니다. As it took over territories. Uh, oftentimes, uh, but not always, by the use of the sword, they were uh, uh, sometimes uh, threatened with 
extermination if they didn't obey the government. 그러나 그 중에서도 기독교 신앙을 포기하지 않은 팔레스타인 사람들도 있었고, 특히 1922년부터 1948년까지 팔레스타인 땅을 영국이 위임 통치하는 동안 자연스럽게 기독교로 개종한 사람들도 있었습니다. 이들은 비록 팔레스타인 사람들이라 하더라도 오래 전부터 지켜온 그들의 신앙을 같은 민족 무슬림들은 인정해 주었고 지금까지도 비교적 안정된 신앙 생활을 해 오고 있습니다. Actually in the 20s people were living very uh, very uh, peacefully together uh, even until mid 30s but they were all considered themselves to be Palestinians but of different religions. In 1948 800,000 Palestinians became refugees when Israel became a state. These people were forced out of their homes, most of the time by force. The total land mass that the, United Na that the, the uh, Israelis took was 78% of Palestine. What was left for the Palestinians, 22%, which is the West Bank, and the Gaza Strip. 예수님의 고향 베들레헴, 아브라함의 무덤에 있는 헤브론. 하나님이 아브라함에게 축복하신 땅 세겜. 예수님이 40일간 금식하며 기도하셨던 유대 광야와 여리고. 이 모든 곳이 현재 웨스트뱅크라고 불리우는 팔레스타인 자치 지역 안에 있고, 삼손이 블레셋과 싸우던 바자 지역까지. 이곳에 살고 있는 팔레스타인 사람들은 이스라엘 군인으로부터의 통제와 감시를 받으며 힘들고 고된 생활을 하고 있습니다. 당연히 팔레스타인 사람들은 이스라엘을 향해 점령자들이라고 맞서 싸웠고 서방 국가의 도움으로 이스라엘 국가가 재건된 것에 강한 불만을 갖게 된 팔레스타인 사람들은 서방 국가로부터 함께 들어온 기독교 신앙에 대해 동시에 거부감을 가질 수밖에 없었습니다. 특히 최근 들어 무슬림에서 기독교로 개종한 팔레스타인 사람들이 생겨나고 있는데 바로 그 사람들이 핍박의 대상이 되고 있는 것입니다. If you are born for in a Christian family, you will be a Christian, and if you are in a Muslim family, it will be the same. So you will gain religion by birth. Or from the IDs, if you are making a, a, an official uh, work or official document, present your IDs. It's registered in the ID, ID, the religion. What's your religion? It's Christian, yeah, it's written. But to change your ID to have, instead of uh, Muslim, to be a Christian, you need a court decision, and it's not easy to get it and it's rejected by the community and by the family and the tribe that you are belong to. Because uh, according also to Islamic law, they are considered apostate. Muslim land is become Palestine. Islam is become the end of Islam. 그곳에도 예수님을 사랑하는 사람들이 있었고 팔레스타인 땅에도 예수님은 계셨습니다. Uh, Rami was um, one that uh, that employee in the bookstore Bible Society also has a, a great evangelism way. He's a wonderful man, really, and he's a very kind person. Like, he's preached the gospel from his deeds, too. He was helping people, uh, doing good things for them, even he didn't want his wife to know. Like, he wanted to give, his heart to give, rather than to take. So he was, like, he was a good heart man. كان مروح من جمعية عادي فهو هو في السيارة لاحظ إنه في ناس عمالها بتراقبه أنا يعني مستغرب إنه أقول له إنه في ناس عمالها بتراقبه ترى مستغرب إنه إنه إيش بدهم فيا يراقبوني
فانا فرحنا لقينا خلاص عرفنا انه لانه بعد هيك صار رمزي يسال وين انت ففهموا هذول لا تذكروا الشباب ذيس مان Like the, like kind of people like strict people. They was speaking to him that you would believe uh, in our thoughts, in our belief. They he said no. I believe just in Jesus. So he was kidnapped for, uh, from like you can say from six uh, six p.m. to 3 a.m. next day. Uh, while this time happened, uh, we, we was like thinking about him, what happened, and we was praying for him, we was like feeling sad about what the Lord, what, what, what will happen with him. We was going through every place to search of him, but nobody could get, like catch him. Next day, um, in the morning, somebody called me and he said to me, Ram is dead. Somebody killed him. And it was a shock to me. I went to the hospital like in a hurry in his, uh, yeah, in his head. So it's broken, it was broken. I, I touched his body and so I understood that he's dead. Um, yeah, he was like covered by um, uh, dust or something like this. And somebody, they hit him. Gaza 지구에서 예수를 믿던 라미는 그렇게 신앙을 지키다가 하나님 곁으로 돌아갔습니다. في البداية إني اعتبته يعني إنه ليه رامي يعني بس أنا يعني اللي أنا اختبرته إنه هذا تكريم لله يعني يعني الحياة له وقت والموت له وقت وإنه هذا عمر رامي بس الله عايز يكرم رامي فأكرمه في هاي الشهادة بس أنا إنه لقيت إنه أنا بنت للرب وانه وانه هذه يعني هذا تخطيط من الرب انه انه الرب سمح بالشيء هذا ان الاشخاص اللي قتلوا رامي هي كانت زي وسيله يعني بس انه عشان عشان رامي يروح عند يسوع وانه رامي لما كان مقتول انا بعرف انه هو كان مبسوط يعني لما انقتل هو اللي اختار هذا الطريق له هو كان مبسوط فلسطين تشي ديوغي تو دارن ماول 이곳에선 들릴 듯말듯 찬양 소리가 들려오고 있었습니다. <목소리> They tell me two things: or they kill us, or they take us to give it to the government and put us in the prison. Okay, what we do when we are praying and somebody comes, we hide the Bible. We just put it like this. We we put the Bible, and after this we cover it by stuff, you know. We take this couch, and we you know just giving each one some of him, and we just looking like we are playing cards, you know. You see the voice? This is the voice when the gate is open. Can I do everything? So it's like, uh, yeah, yeah, so just like, like nothing. Here. Nothing. Oh, they will kill you. So in the end, yani, they are going to kill you. But you are just believing of God. Yani. He's always yani, keeping us under his hand, under his light. And, you know, in the faith, we are following him and we're supposed not to pray. Because he say, my peace I give you, not, not like the word peace. My, my peace is not like the peace of God. Not how the Lord giving you peace, I give you. So we are just believing in Him. 
انك انت يا سيدي تجلس تخرج لنا من امام في العالم يا سيدي تجلسنا عند اشرف اشرف شعبك يا سيدي ونحن غير مستحقين يا سيدي نشكرك يا سيدي القدوس يا سيدي لانك انت بامانتك يا سيدي القدوس وسلطانك وعظمتك يا سيدي القدوس شفيت ارواح يا سيدي القدوس يا سيدي وحيات موتى يا سيدي القدوس يا سيدي وطهرت ناس يا سيدي القدوس خطايا يا سيدي وطهرت نفوسنا يا سيدي طهرتنا احنا يا سيدي القدوس يا سيدي وحيات ناس خطايا يا سيدي والدين شكر لمجدك وسلطانك لملكوتك يا سيدي لحبك العظيم يا سيدي والدين يا سيدي القدوس اسمك يا سيدي غفران خطايا شعوبنا يا سيدي خطايا اهالينا يا سيدي خطايا كل انسان حوالينا يا سيدي بين ايديك يا سيدي كانسون مسلمين حماس جنكوني تانكاكو ايدن كاجا جيكو كوغو سيسو شنان سيمارل هداغا كالغو دومان نواتان اي نانجا 그에겐 어떤 사연이 있는 것일까요? In uh, 1967, right after the war, so I decided to uh, go and join Arafat. I was trained as a fighter, a guerrilla war fighter. And then uh, I was trained as a sniper. And then eventually I, become, uh, an used, I was used as an assassin. To me, a good Jew is a dead Jew. Every Jew must be killed. But how God really works in our life. The day after I gave my heart to Jesus, the next morning, I woke up. And I can feel the presence of the Lord in my room. I mean, it was so strong. I feel it in my heart. And I started worshiping. And uh, as I was worshiping, I started praying and saying, Oh, God, bless your people, Israel. Oh, God, gather them back to the promised land. I heard myself saying that. Why am I praying for my enemy before my own people? And that amazed me. And then I began to, to study the Bible. And I stayed home. I didn't go anywhere. I didn't do anything for 45 days just reading the Bible. It was not easy for me to remember how many people I killed. Because I believe this one, this land was mine. It was not easy. I fought God. I wrestled with God so much. But as I was reading the Bible, I threw the Bible across the room. I said, you are not a just God. You are a hidden God. You are not. I mean, it was very difficult for me. But I had to come to the conclusion that God's word is God's word. And I have to accept it. I cannot pick and choose from God's word what I want to believe and what I don't want to believe. And then I understood. The land is not really mine. God gave it to the Jews from the word of God that we do have a right to the land as well. But not as Palestine, as Israel. And by me becoming a follower of Jesus, I have dishonored my, my family and their faith. There is a punishment for it, which is death by, by cutting the head off if the person does not go back to Islam. My wife and I and came out from where we live to Gaza City. There is a store. As we came out to the, to the main road, and on this side, there is Hamas fighters. Hamas is always covering their faces. And so I'm looking at there. There was five or six of them. I can't. I, I can't remember, but it was, I started seeing their machine guns. And I kept going backward until I turned around and I ran away. And they came around and they started shooting at us, you know. But I don't see any marks on the car. Not one bullet touched our car. Now the window is not broken. We just went inside the house and we started worshiping and praising God. Even if, if there was a bounty on my head, uh, to die is a game for me. I'm not worried. I know where I'm going, so why worry about it? I'll go and be with Jesus. Life and death is only in the hands of God. God says, it's time for you to come home, then we will die. He doesn't say that we won't die, so why worry about it? It's true, we might get beaten up a little bit here and a little bit there, so what? The apostles went through this and 
torture. Who are we not to? I've been beaten up many times. I had one time my spine broken, a hair away from being totally broken. In Gaza, we had 108 Muslim converts. They are always on the run, changing places because Hamas is hunting them down. They are having very hard time. Uh, they are scared to death. I would love to go to Gaza. I really do. I, out of responsibility for those uh, believers that live there, I would love to go back to bless these people that have suffered and that have saved their faith. I want to go to the village where I live to bring them help, bring them love. The Palestine people who believe in the Islam religion. Islam. What is the religion? We have come to the Islam religion. 사원 안으로 들어가기 위해선 모든 사람들이 신발을 벗고 발을 씻어야 했습니다. هو الدين الخاتم الذي ختم الله سبحانه وتعالى به الأديان بأن الإسلام هو الدين الذي ارتضاه الله للبشر وذلك لتحقيق السعادة لهم في الدنيا وفي الآخر القرآن هو الدستور الذي يسير عليه المسلمون هو كلام الله الذي أنزله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم بواسطة الوحي من أركان الإيمان عندنا كمسلمين أن نؤمن بالكتب السماوية السابقة فنحن نؤمن بالإنجيل والتوراة ونعتبر القرآن هو الكتاب الخاتم لهذه الكتب السماوية أولا بالمعتقد الإسلامي أن الذي ضحى به إبراهيم عليه السلام إنما هو إسماعيل وليس إسحاق وقد ورد الحديث عن عيسى عليه السلام في القرآن مرات عديدة فنحن نؤمن أن عيسى هو نبي من أنبياء الله سبحانه وتعالى ورسول من رسول الله ونحن نؤمن بعيسى كما نؤمن بمحمد القرآن بيّن أن اليهود هموا بقتل المسيح عليه السلام لكن الله سبحانه وتعالى نجاه فرفعه إلى السماء وقتل من هو شبيه المسيح며칠 뒤 우리는 타스 씨를 다시 만났습니다. 그와 함께 가자를 직접 찾아가기 위해서였죠. 그러나 타스 씨는 현재 가자의 상황이 너무 위험해 들어갈 수 있을지 모르겠다며 조심스러워했습니다. I have not tried in a, in a long time. I have not tried to apply again. And so and that's because of the advice of my friends. Uh, in Gaza saying, don't even think about coming. Where I lived, that's where I would go first to see my old house. The church is still there. People are scared to go to church too, to that particular church, our church. So I'm sure they are taking pictures, everybody goes in. 
comes out. So that gives people a little bit concerned about going there. Hamas is keeping a very close eye on everybody, keeping control of everything. They will check everything you film. They will look at it. Uh, they won't let, let you out until they see what you have taken on your cameras. And what they don't like, they will destroy. One thing for sure, you will not be alone. You will have two or three watching you all the time. Gazaratulasa 그리고 차를 세워놓고 누군가에게 전화를 걸기 시작했습니다. He's, he's too concerned for his and your safety. The situation is when some foreigners come and somebody from Gaza take them and or meet them and take them around, Hamas normally send first spies to follow the group. And then eventually after you leave, they will take, they will take him for interrogation. And sometimes they they can be violent with them. And so he's very concerned about that and he thinks it's best not to do it uh, for him to come and meet us. And it's best for us not to come in because its situation is intense over there. So. Yeah, this is very good. This is pretty good. You can see a lot. I'm sorry we could not go in. This is the the best we're gonna find. You see those high rises over there? That's where Gaza City is. You see there, there is a wall over there that comes around. There is a fence also. Well, I feel homesick, <laughs> that's for sure. And this place, you have 1.5 million people living there. And it's, it's all mostly uh, uh, refugees from the from the 1948 war and 1967 war. The Gaza Strip, uh, people that we know, there's about 108 Muslim converts to Christianity that needs a lot of prayer. They are living under severe, severe stress, under severe oppression. So they try to worship in their own homes. They cannot congregate together in many numbers because uh, sometimes Hamas gets nervous when there's too many people in one place and so they go and break in and so people Christian people try not to congregate too many of them so it is uh, it is it needs a lot of prayers we need to pray for for the Christian Arabs in the Gaza Strip <laughs> Israel Kunin Tarani Uri Paganabo Tago Vista Kismida. Kudun Uriege, Toy San Chariamajimala Gotishko, Udina Sotolo, K 
그곳을 떠나야만 했습니다. 먼 발치에서도 마음 놓고 기도할 수 없는 상황. 팔레스타인 크리스천들에겐 무슬림들만이 어려움의 대상이 아니었습니다. 이 갈등의 약자는 당연히 팔레스타인 사람들이었습니다. 예수님의 고향 베들레헴으로 가는 길. 그러나 그 길을 가로막고 서 있는 거대한 콘크리트 벽. 높이 8미터, 총 길이 700여 킬로미터의 높다란 벽. 
이 벽을 뛰어넘을 수 있는 사람은 아무도 없습니다. 도대체 누가 왜이 벽을 세워놓은 것일까? This wall, the Israelian, they made it in 2003 because they want to make a big line between the Palestinian and Israel, and they want to close the area like big prison. That's they want only one control from here to go for the Arab Palestinian people to cross in one gate to go to Jerusalem. Without this permission, I cannot cross this wall to go to Jerusalem. Not only me, all the Arab Palestinian people. This wall broke our future, broke our hope. This wall make us like uh, we are in like animal, and we are in big prison. We move inside a big prison. When you saw wall like this and lot of electronic camera, lot of defense, electronic sage, like the line of the sheep, to stop one by one and the cross. Right now. You see, it's clear there aren't many people, but in the morning, when people are trying to cross over to work in Jerusalem, the line can be all the way out here. I actually know people who come here at about four o'clock in the morning in order to be one of the first people in line. You know, so he comes here, he leaves his house at like 3.30 in the morning every night in order to come here, in order to cross by like, you know, six o'clock when they open the, the checkpoint. So it's, it's difficult, it makes life very difficult. So there are many... My friend, at two o'clock in the morning, the water start coming here, and uh, the checkpoint open at five o'clock in the morning. And there is uh, a lot of people. Uh, they, they want to go uh, to work. The workers uh, are uh, above uh, 13. They didn't allow uh, to anyone, but uh, 30 and above. You should have married. And you have uh, children. You don't have children. You uh, not allowed to pass from here. May you see in your life as this worst situation. Thousands of Palestinians crowded between two fences inside cars, treated as criminals, less than animals. Is your job only to need to sell all those, those people with the critical eyes without doing anything? Who raise our problems? Where can we find the Russian just? Is this a modern world? This is our life every day. is the refugee camp, which is, uh, you know, also tells you about the catastrophe of the Palestinian people. It started in 1948. Uh, Palestinians were kicked out from their villages. There are at least 530 villages which were leveled in 1948. And many of these refugees live in refugee camps. Uh, for the first five years, they live in tents. Nowadays, they have permanent housing like this. And uh, in Bethlehem, there are three refugee camps. In the whole West Bank and Gaza, there are 28 refugee camps. But the refugees are people who lost their lands, m lost their homelands. Uh, you talk about uh, hundreds of acres they used to bear. Yeah, and now they are in very small, confined uh, People still hoping to go to their homeland, uh, to their villages, to their cities. And uh, many of them still have the keys to their home old keys. Uh, they have the deeds, the documents. Uh, they have the dream to go back, but uh, there are more facts on the ground that created. And uh, still, you know, the situation is not solved. 
우리는 팔레스타인 난민 전으로 직접 찾아가 보기로 했습니다. 그곳에서 만난 한 난민은 우리를 만나자마자 옥상으로 안내했습니다. 보여줄 것이 있다면서. Five things on the roof. If you know about our condition about the water. There's a lack of water here in the ground in Palestine. The water is the life, and there is nobody. Can live without water. The Israeli government allow us to fill our tanks just one day each, 20 days, and maybe 25 days. So we use these tanks to have water for the families. And the majority of the people, Palestinian people, suffering from the lack of water. And they give the Israeli families more than maybe three or four, four times. than the Palestinian family. And they never allowed us to dig in the ground and to have a water. They are watching day and night the Palestinian movement and make us thirsty, make us suffering from this situation. So we suffer so much from this situation. Palestine 난민촌에 살고 있는 사람들의 생활은 이렇게 어렵게 짝이 없었습니다. 그러나 이스라엘 사람들도 이렇게밖에 할수 없는 나름대로의 고통이 있었습니다. 이곳에선 팔레스타인 테러리스트에 의해 희생당한 사람들을 위한 추모회가 열리고 있었습니다. 그날 어떤 일이 있었던 걸까요? I was injured. It was Wednesday, July 31, 2002. I arrived at university even though it was summer vacation because I had seminars to write and research to do at the library. At morning, I met a friend. Let's go to the Frank Sinatra cafeteria. We were entering the cafeteria and I remember that while I I held the, the tray in my hand. I was like amazed the cafeteria was packed with people. The bombing was, if I understand well, it was um, exactly on 132. I remember myself on the floor and I remember I could not move. I mean, I didn't really understand what happened. I understand that something wrong happened. And my friend was leaning above me and calling my name over, over and again. She was like, Maya, Maya, because she didn't even understand if I'm, if I'm alive or dead, because I couldn't move. I was bleeding from this side of my head, and she decided that it's wrong. She took me in her hands as if I'm really a little baby. We were really inside the cafeteria, and she took me out to... Um, It was a nine hours life-saving operation. A metal nut, like it was about half inch in diameter, penetrated my skull, completely ruining my my right eye, and it 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 lodged it it landed in my brain. I, I wear a prosthetic eye. This is not a. It's it's a false eye. I lost also the um, my sense of smell, uh, and I have um, like a, a lack in my hearing because of the bombing. It was an Arab man um, who was working on campus for seven or eight years before. He had to put the bomb uh, inside the cafeteria. And he, with a remote control, uh, with a cellular phone, he just set it, set it off. Someone ruined my life. Someone changed my life completely without asking me, of course. And someone was literally trying to, to murder me. I'm not a soldier, and I don't wear war uniform, and definitely I don't have any weapon. I don't think I could forgive people that do things like that and try to kill civilians. This is the Israel government building. Many people of Israel are being forced to throw rocks at the ground and are being forced to throw rocks at the ground. 
이들은 벌써 4년째 매주 이 시간 이곳에서 시위를 벌이고 있다고 합니다. 이들은 또 무엇 때문에 시위를 벌이는 것일까요? Gilade c h a l i t 2007년 7월 25일 당시 20살이었던 이스라엘 군인은 가자지구 접경 지역에서 근무 중 하마스에 의해 납치되어 4년이 지난 지금까지 포로로 잡혀 있습니다. ทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้งทั้
my community as a Christian man uh, who's going to support them. Okay, I can give something for my community if I can. And uh, if I can give something for com my community and my religion, my, 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 my uh, good friend, <laughs> why I don't give it? Uh, I love this uh, kind of job, uh, to be uh, with the microphone. Uh, 비록 도와주는 사람은 없지만 정말 기적처럼 지금도 이 안테나를 통해서 팔레스타인 모든 지역의 사람들에게 그리스도의 복음이 멀리 퍼져나가고 있습니다. 또 다른 팔레스타인 마을. 이곳 잔디밭에선 아이들이 둘러앉아 무언가 열심히 듣고 있었습니다. 이야기를 듣고 있는 아이들의 모습도 진지해 보였고 함께 지켜보는 어른들도 흥미롭게 듣고 있었습니다. 건물의 안쪽에서도 아이들이 모여 앉아 뭔가 열심히 듣고 있었고요. 한쪽에선 아이들이 티셔츠에 그림을 그려놓고 있었습니다. 지금 이곳에선 무슨 일이 진행되고 있는 것일까요? What happening is this with between the these uh, groups, as you see here, the between the Muslims and the, the Christians, we are having uh, good relations with them, and we are trying to let them play to, with each other because they can know uh, how to be closer to each other more than the the adults and the other uh, ages. Why don't we let them live for the future to each other and love each other in a very good way to build a good relations between the kids now? In the future, they develop it more and more. They know that he is a Christian. He's not an enemy, you know? And he, he shows the love and how he came from a very good family, too. I uh, was very pleased about uh, the camp, actually. It was um, very good, because we don't have in Palestine so many camps like that. How to, uh, to respect people and how to uh, be a good with the, the people and how to um, be a good uh, person in the in the society and um, it was, it was, I, I actually was very happy about this. 이러한 노력들로 인해 서로 죽이고 죽는 원수 간의 관계에서 서로를 사랑하는 마음이 팔레스타인 사람들에게 번져가고 있었습니다. handle it so I went running to the stairs to defend him and here the soldier start beating me up one he came running he said stop stop he said you have three minutes to go up to your house the stairs like uh, maybe 15 stairs otherwise we'll kill you now we'll shoot you so I went to the fridge I took a cold water and I sprinkling their faces they both wake up and they said uh, so my son said, Mom, don't worry, I'm alive. I'm alive. I didn't die. In the same minute, I heard the soldiers beating up the, the second son. I start feeling the soldiers like they are devils. I, exactly, the hatred comes to my spirit, to my mind. I want to kill the soldiers. I was angry to God mostly. You know, why you allow this? You know, why you allow this? I said, God, something wrong. God, where are you? where your face, where your presence. Every time I went in the morning, I used to wake up early in the morning praying, and I kneel down and can't pray. I said, where are you? Where are you, you know? You are not anymore in my house. You are not anymore in my, in my heart. You are not anymore. I have to discuss something with God. I can't live in this way anymore. Crying, I start talking, I start screaming, I start calling God. I was, my face was on the, on the floor and I heard steps. So I, I opened up my eyes, I saw this man in front of me. He said, lady, what you request, what you want, 
So I didn't know where to start. I said, let me, leave me alone because you can't understand what I'm go, going through. He said, try me. Where is God? He left me. He said, no, 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 no. He didn't left you. Left you. you left him. But the, um, the feelings that start to come to my life, hatred, fear, uh, anger, that built a wall between me and God. I can't reach him anymore because there's... Uh, uh, borders. There's, I, I create borders between me and God. And he wants to help me, but he can't because of this world. So I said, what to do? What to do? I want God back to my life. I can't live this way anymore. I can't. He said, you love your enemy. You pray for the one who persecuted you. You forgive them. So I start asking God, please help me to forgive the soldiers. Please, God, help me. I want to. I want to obey your word. The atmosphere has changed. And I, I start seeing things in a different ways. I saw them in fear, I saw them in hatred, I saw the soldiers' attitude that they was used by fear, by anger, by they was used by Satan, not them. They was they wasn't act as a human being. That there is forces was acting through them, darkness forces. So I asked God. Please forgive them. They needed forgiveness. They need to know you. They need to know who you are. So I started praying for the soldiers from my, my heart. And I said, um, I said to this guy, if God's presence back to my life, I promise I will keep praying for the Jewish people, the soldiers, everywhere they are. I felt like it's a big mountain moved from my chest and I have my joy back. I have the presence of God, I was free, like free, you know. He, it was an angel. Aramdown, 지중해가 보이는 도시 테라비브. 이곳의 커다란 건물에도 젊은이들이 모여들고, 그리고 안에서는 힘차고 경쾌한 음악 소리가 들려오고 있었습니다. <목소리> and those from the nations to worship the Lord and minister to God and then just encounter God. You know, it's, it's very rare that you see Jews and Arabs come together, um, but under Messiah, we're all one. And so that's one of our goals and one of our visions for this conference is to see Jewish, Arab, and those from the nations come together as one in Messiah. because the whole conflict, sometimes I don't find it easy to embrace, sometimes I do hold grudges against certain Arabs, but I just like, I just feel like God gives us like the ability to love everyone, it's just, it's just when you see them out there, you just recognize them as your own people, and like everyone's here to worship one God, so it's just, I feel like they're, they're my brothers and sisters just as much as Jewish people. general impression was I thought this is uh, this is really historical because nowhere no other time in history in the, in the modern day history has Jews Arabs Gentiles and other internationals from all around the world come together to worship Yeshua as the king uh, king of kings and the Lord of Lords and so I believe Jews and Gentiles or Jews and Arabs will be together I believe that and I believe that they were always meant to be together and as one. And I believe that one day soon, uh, through what God's doing right now, through revival, through reformation and awakening in Israel, that he's going to bring the groups together. 
I, I want to introduce to you now two brothers. Uh, these two brothers uh, come from Gaza. So I'd like, we, we cannot say the names of our brothers publicly, obviously. But I would like to ask you, uh, first of all, can you tell us, are there true believers in Jesus in Gaza who are still living in Gaza? Speak about uh, how's believer living in Gaza. The believers in Gaza, they are really sad and they don't know what they want to do. They want somebody to encourage them. They want somebody to, to heal them. They love God. And they want to live for God, Jesus living in us. We said, all right, Gaza is bad, or uh, the situation there is bad, but there's a people, they believe in Jesus, and we believe that our Jesus, he's alive, Amen. and he's alive everywhere. Hallelujah. So I gotta ask you, please stand up, and we don't want you just to reach out your hands this time. Can you guys come down here in front? Come on, come on up, everybody that'd like to come up around. Let's just <laughs> <several> <laughs> come, and let's gather around these brothers representing all the believers in Gaza. And we want to pray that the people in Gaza who do not know Jesus would have a revelation of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you have us meeting together and we pray that hundreds and hundreds of people in Gaza will have a revelation of Jesus and who he is. Lord, we thank you for faithful believers who have even given their lives because they love you in Gaza. And we pray great grace upon every believer from Gaza. Holy Spirit, fill them with courage and with strength. Let them know how greatly and how deeply you love them and help them to know that we love them as well. Strengthen them to be able to stand no matter what the cost and help us to learn from their example, to be willing to pay whatever price it might take to follow you. In the name of Yeshua. Seven million Christian Christians Palestine Christians שאתה תעטוף אותם בהגנה שלך, בשלום שלך, אבא אדוני, ושעדות ישוע תהיה חלק מהחיים שלהם. תודה לך על הכבוד שאתה מקבל בחיים שלהם. לא מתקשיב לשיח. הללו אבא, אני מתפלל, תרים בנו אהבה, אבא תרים רשת בין הערבים והיהודים בארץ, אבא המאמינים. Alleluia. שבאהבה בינינו יראו אותך, אדון ישוע. שבאהבה בינינו יראו אותך, אדון ישוע. אבא, שים עוד ועוד אנשים על הלב שלהם את החזון הזה. שים עוד אנשים על ליבם, אבא, את האחים שלנו בארץ. Alleluia. תן לנו ללמוד מהם, אבא. בשם ישוע, ברך אותם. תודה לך על האור ששמת לנו. תודה לך. We need to be careful not to only look at the prophecies about God's unconditional covenant with the Jewish people to return them to the land, but we need to realize the same God had a great love and promise and plan for the sons of Ishmael. For example, in Genesis chapter 17, uh, Abraham himself, when he realized that God was going to establish the covenant of salvation through his line with Isaac, said, well, what about Ishmael? Could, could Ishmael also stand before you? And God very graciously said, of course Ishmael can stand before me. I'm going to bless him and make him a father of many nations. Twelve great rulers will come forth from him. He will be greatly, greatly blessed. So Christians in the nations need to realize that God has specific promises for the Jewish people, but he also has specific promises for the Arab peoples. 
And we from the nations need to love and stand with both peoples. So our part is to stand with them, to be reconciled, that they might pray for each other and realize that in blessing one another, he said in Romans 9 through 11, that uh, even though a portion of the Jewish people rejected Yeshua, rejected Jesus as the Messiah, that did not mean that God forgot them or, or rejected them. And in the, and, but he said in his great wisdom and, and, and understanding and sovereignty, he planned that salvation would go through the nations and then that it would come back to provoke Israel to jealousy. So we need to see that God uh, has worked in the nations and it's almost like it's coming back from the ends of the earth more toward the Middle East now. And something very powerful is happening in the Middle East among uh, Muslim peoples who are finding Jesus and then suddenly realize that he changes their heart and they love the Jewish people and they love Israel. And this is going to be a great witness to Israel as they realize, wow, these, these Muslims who hated us, who were trying to kill us, are now, because of finding Jesus, loving us and encouraging us, and, and this will work deeply within their hearts. But about the fact that there are houses of prayer multiplying all over the Middle East now that are praying for Israel. They want to pray for the Jewish people. They want to pray for Israel. They want to pray for the Palestinian believers. And so in places like Turkey, Egypt, United Arab Emirates, Afghanistan, this just wasn't happening before. And it's happening very rapidly. Still clearly a sovereign move of the Holy Spirit in the Middle East, that there is this desire to love and to pray for Israel. So it's a prophetic picture of what God will do in the Middle East. But I've found that almost Everyone who comes to Jesus out of a Muslim background almost immediately receives a sovereign love for the Jewish people and for Israel. I believe uh, that God loves not only Arab Christians, I believe he also loves Muslims very deeply. I believe it's very important to make the distinction, as Paul said, to realize we're not fighting against flesh and blood, but against the powers of darkness in heavenly places. So we need to understand that there are the demonic powers operating behind Islam that work through things like terror, fear, murder, violence. But we need to differentiate that from the actual Arab peoples. That as the Arab peoples, as those that identify with the spirit of Ishmael, come and love Israel, and as Jewish people uh, begin to understand that God also has a loving plan for the Arabs and they bless one another in their mutual destinies, they will both come into what God had promised and had for them as a people. God loves all of the peoples he has created them as he has created them, but he has a destiny for each one. And he, he, he does not want us to become jealous of each other's destiny or fight each other. He wants us to bless one another into each other's destiny and calling in him. To the other Arab people. There were Arab Christians who were singing a song in this place. There were Arab Christians. 그런데 놀라운 것은 이들 아랍 크리스천들 사이에 유대인 목사님들의 모습도 보인다는 것이었습니다. 어떻게 된 것일까요? Uh, actually, the Global Day of Prayer uh, was really uh, a vision that the Lord has very much put on my heart to establish in the land. The Lord spoke to me clearly, saying, I want you to invite your Jewish brother. And so the Lord said, this is my timing. This is the year I want to do this. And so we began to do it, and we began to invite the Jewish leaders. And it's the first time we do this. And we totally believe that this is a genuine work of the Holy Spirit. It's not something you can make it up. And the Lord, in a miraculous way, in a genuine work of humility, brokenness before him, as the, as the Arab people, the Arab uh, leaders, took that step, took that initiative and said, we love you. We want to express our love to you. And so definitely the act of humility has brought an, a tremendous uh, 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 brokenness 
for the hearts. And not only that, there was so much grace being released and the river of healing was just flowing and the presence of God was just flowing all over the place.그 누구도 전혀 상상하지 못했던 일이었습니다. And there was weeping and every, every eye had a tear for that moment because it was so genuine. This is something the Lord only can do. And only the Lord would receive the glory. And the healing river is going to flow all through the land of Israel. 세족시 아람 목사님들은 유대인 목사님들의 발을 닦아드리기 시작했고 바로 그 뒤에선 또 다른 아람 목사님들이 발을 들어 축복의 기도를 했고 유대인 목사님들도 감격의 기도를 드렸습니다. 이어지는 두 민족 간의 포. 누가 시키지 않았지만 이번에는 교인들도 서로를 축복하고 용서하는 기도가 이 공간 안에 가득 메웠습니다. 이브니 <목소리도> 칸필리키니사이살리 كانت الساعة ثلاثة ونص أربعة إلى ثلث دائما كان يروح الكنيسة كل يوم في عشرين عشرة يوم سبت كان كان ابني يعني أخذ ابن خالي الصغير وبلاعب فيه كان عمره سنتين ونص ثلاثة وهو رافعه كان ناس ضربوا من جبل هندازة دخلت من اليمين طلعت دخلت من اليمين طلعت من الشمال و وصرت اسرخ اسعاف حطيته باب الساحه يعني عند الكنيسه بعد وصرنا نقول الاسعاف تيجي ولما حطيته على الارض توفى في نفس الساعه نفس اللحظه البني ادم بكون فاقد شعوره ما بفكر شو بيحكي 
يعني انه البني ادم يوم ما بشوف ابنه بين يديه مات بصير يفكر في نفس اللحظه هاي بالانتقام. They wanted to kill them. I wanted to kill as much as I want from them or as much as I can by bombing myself in a restaurant or side. When I was in my ninth grade, I decided to join Hamas group. Uh, who used to train people on bombing themselves and going out, you know, for explosions and so on at the Jewish area. I had problems. And then the doctor said that I might have a blood cancer and it's at the C stage. I start to pray and I said, you know, God of this earth, I want to see you. I fell asleep while I was praying and then um, I saw a dream of Jesus coming and he had his hand on my heart and he said, uh, you are healed, and I'm Jesus. I went the second day to the doctor, and I stayed in the hospital for at least 11 hours doing the tests again. And then the doctor came, and he was like, he was so sad. He's like, there is nothing in your blood, and that I'm totally like healed. And since that day on, I'm believer. I forgive, almost forgot, but it just. Uh, what happened is because it's uh, I'm Christian. I mean, if I if I want to hold a grudge, and this is what this is the cause of uh, uh, wars always. Because again, because it's the love of Christ in me, and I hold like he says, I hold no grudges. I forgive those soldiers, and you know what? I wish I could ever meet them because I want to tell them face to face. I forgive you for what you've done. You know, like to to make peace with it. صدقني أنا سمحت للي طخ ابني يعني أنا في ربنا بحاسبه مش أنا اللي راح أحاسبه زي ما هم بيأمنوا بالله إحنا بنأمن في ربنا بحاسبه يعني إحنا ما إلنا يعني. But after I became a believer, you know, when you see so much love from Jesus toward us and toward them and so much, it's it's totally different. I do love them. I love them a lot and I have lots of friends. If Jesus asks, asks me to wash their feet, then I will do it. I love them. Uh, my father was shot and killed in 1948. Long time I have forgotten and forgiven this. As a Palestinian Christian, uh, I forgive, you know, I mean, uh, and this thing happens daily. We don't only forgive the Jewish people, we even love them because of the love of Christ in our hearts. The only way to solve that conflict between Arabs and Jews or any other groups is by the love of Jesus. We didn't need the political groups, we didn't need the USA uh, group, we, need, we didn't need the United Nations groups, we need just Jesus and his love and his uh, peace. And that's the only way to love, to uh, solve the conflict to, uh, and the problems between people. So now I love the Jewish people and I believe they, they love me because we have the same master. في كان تغيير كبير بالنسبة لحياتي يعني أكثر إشي سكت إن أنا نعتمد على حالة كتير من هاي الناحية من أبو إيماني بالرب واختباراتي كانت أعمق اتعلمت إنه إنه للخ... يعني في يعني في تكلفة لما نيجي نخدم الرب في تكلفة لازم إحنا يعني في تكلفة وأنا لازم أكون قادرة إن أنا في أي وقت أكون أقدر إن أدفع هاي التكلفة. Conflict. Between Jews, Palestinians, Arabs in this Middle East area, only by Jesus. He's the only one can reconcile all these people together. He's the only one can put them together. It's Yeshua, the Lord Jesus Christ. We're in a mutual deal. Palestine, Bob Jongro, Japan, and Badrog, and Isaram, and Tongyang, and Rasmida. ما הלכת עם האישה וילדים? מה דיברת אותם לפני אתה הלכת מהבית? ואת תהיה לך יהוס? 
What do you share with your wife and children? I told my husband that he lives in Ramallah and lives in Abu Dhabi. He has a child that he has a lot of money. We are praying for the people. I am proud of Yeshua. I am not a child, but I am not a child. Even if I am not a child, I am not a child. 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 Uh, he's saying, please, please stop that because right now it's dangerous for him. He needs to go by foot. He needs to get out. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. I want you to stand the gap for us and to pray for this country. And also when the angels came, they say, like, the peace be upon this place, upon this land. They live and they tire maybe sometimes. And some people leave, leave Jesus because nobody prayed. Yeah, we need a prayer. Pray for the Palestinians. Really, they're going through a hard time. We never should be for wars. We should always, as Jesus does, be peacemakers. Even when they disagree with us or they hear us, we love them. So we are committed for one word, love. So we need to love. We want to pray for peace because without peace between Israelis and Palestinians, there is no future for the church. Be praying for the safety and the salvation of the Palestinian people. Pray for wisdom and protection as we are going out and reaching. The second, we always ask people to consider prayer to coming to Israel and to visit our ministries, to visit the ministries existing in this country. And that's very important to build, to build that, that connection. When like, they see like, lots of help coming only for the Jews and there is many Christians who believe in Jesus who are suffering in Bethlehem or in, uh, in Ramallah or in Jericho. We try with our ministry to bring a balance and certainly the Bible, help your brothers and sisters and then and then help the others. So I, I encourage you that, uh, that uh, like first help the Christians. <laughs>